Hey everyone, this is my video blog for the ending of Wii. There are quite a different few forms that our video blogs can take. Um, there's uh, all different sorts, but it really only comes down to two options for how many people can do it. One is for one, do it individually, and then also to do it as a pair. I'm going to do it as a pair, but by myself. You may wonder how on earth I'm going to pull this off. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the person I'm going to be doing it with, myself. Okay. Well, now that I'm all here, let's get started. That's what I was just thinking. I, I know you were. You're me. Uh, look, from this point on, let's just refer to each other as separate people so that people don't get confused, okay? Okay. Um, hey, but if you know what I'm thinking, what am I thinking right now? I'm not playing that game. Okay. I just want to take a few seconds to acknowledge the fact that yes, I am doing a video blog with myself. <laughs> what? You said you're gonna do you're doing a video blog with yourself and you're literally doing it with yourself. I'm you. Is it a bad sign if I don't completely get a joke that I just made? Okay, well, let's start. Um so what did you think of that ending of the story? Oh, I was supposed to finish it. No, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I finished it. I was really surprised by the ending. I know, me too, right? Um, but because I read Under the Bell Jar, the article, I actually already knew how it was going to end, but it's still a really surprising ending, isn't it? You have the ending ruined for... That's, that's awful. I'd be so mad. I would be so mad at my professor. I would, I would never forgive them. I would be irate. I'd be mortified. I would be... I got to so, it. Oh, but there should at least be a spoiler alert. At least just just courtesy. We're all we're getting off topic. Um, okay. So, why do you think D five hundred three chose to get the Great Operation and then go back to his old society? The Great Operations where they get rid of your imagination, right? Yes. Okay. Well, um, I think there was a lot of reasons why he ended up getting it. Uh, mostly because his life was just falling apart at that point. Uh, the plan to jack the integral, just whatever, like a lead balloon. I-330 thinks that he um, betrayed him, so he's really depressed about that. He tried to crash the integral into the one state because of that, um, but he was foiled by the uh, second builder, uh, stopped him from going all space kamikaze on the city. Um, it's, he tried to kill you because she's the one that actually gave him up, and I think he just got this, the great operation so that he could just um, lose the pain he wouldn't have to deal with the emotion, he could just not have a soul, and then um, not have to deal with all the junk. It's kind of like committing suicide, except mental, not physical. Like, he didn't have to deal with all the pain anymore. Well, you contribute. Yeah, D503 is pretty disturbed in the days leading up to his great operation. Also, um, you have to take into account that everything D-503 has known up to this point is the one state. Uh, you, you know that he's terrified by uh, things that are unknown or yeah. things that don't make sense. I mean, like, he spent an entire chapter ranting about how, about square root of negative one. I know, uh, he, he likes things that make sense, and the one state makes sense to him, and that's really all he's ever known. And it's all believing he really knows how to do. Well, on the bright side, at least Ao gets to live. She gets outside the city wall. Though, but just about everyone else is a really, really crappy fate. Like, really bad. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, like, D503, imagination removed. I30, or I330, tortured. And she'll eventually end up with the benefactor's machine, along with the rest of the resistance. D503's um, poet friend, I can't remember his name, uh, ends up getting killed, he actually sees the body. Um, and then a whole crap load of ciphers get their imaginations destroyed. But did, wasn't it kind of creepy when D503 talks to the benefactor? Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the benefactor realizes that getting rid of someone's imagination doesn't make them happy, it just keeps them from being unhappy. It's kind of like he just wants everyone to get the great operation so that he can control them easier. And I bet he isn't going to be getting his imagination destroyed either. Well, who knows how long the one state's going to be around anymore. After all, the story um, ends with the talk of how it's all split up with those who want to get the, who, who support the Great Operation and those who are against it. I mean, there's literally a fence dividing the city. I mean, it's, it, it's just anarchy. It's, it, 
it's just totally crazy. And don't forget though, D503 thinks that the, uh, the, those who favor the one state will win in the end because they have reason on their side. I don't know. Underestimating rebels can be pretty dangerous. I mean, just look at the Empire. They thought they could go and blow up Alderaan and then kick the rebels' alliance off Hoth. Next thing they know, the rebels are blowing up the last Death Star and most of the Imperial Navy highest ranking officers are dead. I mean, honestly, you are such a nerd. Wait. And?